What's going on guys? In this video, I'll be going over Red Dead Redemption 2 Planther location. So the Panther is actually one of the more valuable animals in Red Dead Redemption 2, and it's a very easy uh, way to get a lot of money and also get some XP along with this as well. So one of the better Panther locations I've found is actually on the map below Braithwaite Manor, and I'll zoom out here so you can kind of tell better where it is. It's below Rhodes, which is also below Braithwaite, and then it's going to be right in this general location. There's like a little like almost circle looking thing on the map here to show you where it is, and if you go to this road actually, it should spawn just off to the side of it. And just so you know, if it doesn't spawn by chance, um, one thing that you could easily do is just go around, hunt a little bit, go turn it in the busher, and then come back to see. And so far, this is the only spawn point I have found right here. Um, I haven't seen any others. Like, once you see, once I kill it, a little panther logo will pop up, and they will, like, say that they could be anywhere in this area, but I've generally only found him sitting right here. So anyways, I'm going to go in there right now, see if he's in there, and if not, I'm going to probably come back and, like, you know, just edit the video to see if he's actually in here or not. So actually when you approach a panther, and there he is right there, when you approach a panther or a cougar actually, uh, your horse will get scared, so that's definitely one thing to be weary of, and I can get him in one shot actually, which sucks, but, so this guy might kill me actually, let's see. Oh, and I might die here, man, no. come on, how am I not killing this guy? Bolt action should be killing him right away, but there we go, and I finally killed him. And his skin is definitely going to be a poor quality skin, but um, that's just kind of because I didn't really worry about uh, sneaking up from for the purpose of this video. But anyways, I'm just going to throw him back on my horse, and then I'm probably going to edit the video and show you uh, where you can turn him into roads and see how much um, I actually get for this guy. But uh, once again, this is only a one-star pelt because it took me a couple shots to get him. I missed the headshot, but if you do hit a vital with any sort of bolt action, it will be an instant kill. But anyways... I'll be back in just a couple of seconds. Okay guys, so as you can see here, the price of a poor panther carcass is 560, and if I actually skin it, which I'm gonna do very quickly to just show you, you know, the price difference in that, and uh, to Go see if, you know, you get more or less the same, quality. just to show you guys that as well, because I saw a few people in the comment section on my last uh, cougar video, wondering about if it's any different price if you skin it versus if you don't skin it. So I'm just going to show you guys that as well very quickly. And I'm actually not entirely sure, I kind of forget, but uh, either way, Panther is a pretty decent price uh, regardless of you know how you bring it in. But unfortunately with this one, it looks as if there's only one spawn there as far as I can see right now. But um, maybe perhaps I'll find one and put out another video soon. So anyways, if we go to the butcher and just sell the pelt, the pelt is pretty significantly less, but you do get the big game meat with that. So I don't know if that's an addition to anyone else. So definitely try to get a carcass first. Pretty they sell for significantly days. more. Appreciate but anyways, guys, that's really it for this video. I I'm just trying to show you guys a, a uh, location of a panther. Days. And if you are new to the channel, I'll talk about uh, Red Seems Dead Redemption videos, things like day. that. So interested in that kind of stuff, head over to my channel and consider subscribing. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching.